Okay, in this video, we're going to look at a different way of interacting with the readings from the accelerometer. Um, so I've just gone through pretty much what we've done in the last couple of videos. I've got the sense hat, um, imported the material, I've initialized the sense hat, I've cleared it, I've defined the red color to make life a bit easier, and I'm getting the acceleration values, and I'm then splitting those amongst the X, Y, and Z values. So what we're going to do from here is we're now going to change the actual values. Oh, don't want to be back there. I'm back over here. Thank you. Um, we're going to change it so the X, Y, and Z values are absolute values. Um, so at the moment, they can be negative 1 or 1. We just want to measure how much G-force they're experiencing. So in this case, if I use the ABS um, function, which is built into the main um, library of Python, then it's basically just going to sit there and convert like a negative one to one, um, or this negative two will become two, right? So what I'm trying to do is to pick up whether or not the um, whether or not the this this being moved, the actual sense hat is being moved. So I wanted to react if it actually gets a value um, above one in any of the axes. So to do that, I'm going to say if x is greater than one um, or y is greater than one or z is greater than one. Remember the or statement, if, if any of these are true, then this condition will be true and we'll go into the next little bit of the command here. So what we're going to do is say since show letter and I'm just going to show an exclamation mark Oops. and I want that to be red okay so if any of those values are above um, above um, one so therefore it's, it's being moved it's being shaken then it's going to put that on there and then I'm going to say else Otherwise, I just want this um, the screen to be clear. So let's see. So if we, I want you to pause that, speculate, and see if you can predict what's going to happen, and then come back and we'll run it. Okay, so now you're back. Let's have a look. Let's run it and see what's happening. Uh, at the moment, not much is happening, but if I shake this around oh look that move because it's picking up that it's getting a reading above one in one of the axes so there we've got a little process which is picking up movement a little program which is picking up movement there um, and reacting to it so that's how you can use the accelerometer to pick up movement